Seems like people disagree on everything these days. One uniter, the loathsome Lexus trackpad user interface, touchy and clumsy, it's been unloved by automotive writers and owners alike. Certainly the folks at Lexus thought it was a winner, right? I, I was one of the biggest critics of the old system, I'll be honest with you. And well, starting with the 2022 Lexus NX, there's an all new system. The touchpad is gone. We weren't doing so well in our multimedia scores um, and, and just some of the comments from press about our systems. And Zach Hicks, who's my boss, came in and said, look, we've got to fix this. Right? And how do we fix that? And so um, we, I said, we could do it but we, we need to change some things. We need to change the organization. We need to change the responsibility. We need to get the responsibility from Japan. We need to bring our North American organization together. Um, we need to bring the development here in North America. We need to bring the software development here, the design here. The new interface with a screen size of up to 14 inches is not just all new. It's been designed from the ground up by the Toyota Connected division, not farmed out to a supplier. And I, and I can say, at least from our side, we, we had, uh, we did look out, outside consulting. You know, when we first started this early on, at least my group, we were in Michigan and you, we said, hey, we had like a design competition amongst three, three companies that are pretty well known. Uh, from a design point of view, and we, we gave them an opportunity to give us what they thought. Honestly, when they were done and my team brought it to me, I said, throw it all away. This is not what our customers need. It's, it looks like an iteration on what we have today and that we need to have something more um, foundationally pure experience for the customer as we see it. We don't need to have any uh, kind of debt to the old system at all. Designing an interface that's easy enough to be used safely while hurtling down the freeway is a dark art. If you're thinking the engineers had plenty of UX experience and familiarity with each other. I'd met Sharon maybe just two weeks earlier. Yeah, just two weeks earlier. Literally two weeks <laughs> earlier. You know, he was living in Michigan and um, he got introduced to me through his boss at that time. And uh, he said, look, I've got this great guy. If you're gonna do this, you're gonna need someone like him. I have the software development background. I had an interest in design, but I'm not a UX designer by any means. Um, so I understood the principles, I understood what good design meant, I, and I understood that software development and user design are very tightly coupled, like that you can't decouple those. And we, we walked into a room on a big whiteboard and I said, if we were to design a system for our customers from scratch, no, no restrictions, like nothing, how, what would it look like? And we just got on there and started drawing. This project was started three years ago. There was time to learn and experiment. We don't need to have a middle person telling us, hey, this is what we heard, this is what we saw. We think we should do this, let's consult, let's talk about it. We are directly seeing what our customers are saying. We're directly talking to our engineers, our developers, and they're saying, we want this, and we're saying, build it, build it today. And in some cases, you know, we have teams here, developers, where we have an idea in the morning, they go in and code it up, they have it in a simulator or actually have it on target hardware and we can see it that day or the next day. The glass is optically bonded to the touchscreen to eliminate as much glare as possible. The Lexus interface, uh, there is no fancy sci-fi name, looks to be competitive with the modern luxury brand systems from BMW and Mercedes. I saw it and watched the Lexus folks use it but didn't operate it myself. For starters, there's advanced casual voice recognition. Hey Lexus, what's the weather? It is sunny in Redford, Texas, and it feels like 88 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's totally different from the outgoing interface. Where do I start? Okay, so um, the first thing you're gonna notice is just this beautiful screen, this massive 14 inch high definition touchscreen with all these vivid colors that just pop out. And, and then there's no touchpad. So that's, that's the second big difference. And you know, Lexus is known for that touchpad. Um, that's gone. But then very quickly, they're gonna get into the actual design of the system. And what they're gonna see is, it doesn't, there's nothing that feels common to the old system, nothing. I mean, and there was zero, there, there was, we did, um, it was 100% built from the ground up, no carryover of the previous generation. So, so when you look at it, you're like, here, that, that's you know, not Lexus, like that doesn't feel like a Lexus system. system um, but then they're going to start using it and they're just going to be like, wow, it's so easy to use. And it feels modern and it feels like just like a smartphone. So I, I think, you know, initial reaction is going to be huge. And as they start using it, 
it's just going to keep on. They're going to get delighted time and time again as they use the system more and more. For where a user profile comes in handy, if I land in LA, I'm at LAX, I want to go to my favorite ramen restaurant, I've saved it last time I was there in Lexus Interface. If I get in a different vehicle, I just simply sync with my Lexus app, it's going to show up right here. It'll populate from the cloud. All those settings are going to come down. My favorite Sirius XM stations, navigation destinations, all that stuff is going to be there. So it just simply saves you time. Why did it take so long for the outgoing system to be replaced? That system works well for Japan. I mean, if you go to a Japanese market, there's a different customer base in Japan versus North America. The expectations are different. There's a little bit more patience in the Japan market to set things up read the owner's manual, learn how to use the system. That tolerance doesn't exist here. Concerned about data privacy? Like our smartphones, these systems collect a lot of information about the vehicle and the owners. Anything we do with a consumer's data, it's got to benefit the customer. We're not going to do it that just benefits Toyota. So if we're collecting your data to improve our vehicles, it's to make the vehicles better for you. Um, if we're collecting your data to provide you a service, like whether it's a safety service, um, a vehicle health service, or in the future, like, you know, we're working on things like hot car um, detection. All of that data is being used to provide you as the consumer a, a better service than what you have today. And we know that consumers, even, even consumers who are sometimes getting those services, probably don't want them. Some, some consumers don't want them. They're, they're super nervous about their data privacy. So we just launched the data privacy portal, which now for the first time, and it's no other OEM is doing this, a consumer can go in and see exactly how we're using their data, how we're storing it, um, and what we're using it for. And then they can switch it off there and there. In the US, the average vehicle age is now over 12 years. People aren't going to be replacing their cars and trucks the way they go through phones. Yeah, we know that we've launched out a system. We've done our due diligence to make sure that it's absolutely perfect for the customers as they sit there today. But customers' needs change. Um, Third-party content providers, some you know, go from being not popular to popular and vice versa. We have the flexibility built into the system to stay up to date. It cannot be added to existing vehicles, but it will migrate to Lexus models as they're replaced or get mid-cycle refreshes. Yeah, we worked with our developers to actually create unique screen sizes to make sure that we can have that carryover uh, to the vehicles. Because oftentimes when you want to do a uh, mid-cycle refresh, one of the hardest things to change is the entire instrument panel shape and design. You just want to simply plug and play a multimedia system, for example. Wondering if it will show up in Toyota branded products? Yes, so we will have an iteration of this for the Toyota vehicles. And um, we can't say today which vehicle that is, but it, it will not be very long and we're super excited. This is super easy and actually we made some hard controls as well for temperature as well as volume. The Lexus interface in the NX is set to debut in the fall of 2021 and I'll do a more hands-on approach once I spend a good amount of time with it. I personally know a number of Lexus owners that are happy the trackpad is being decommissioned. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.